Hi everybody, I'm Lian Duan. Today we talk about install and uninstall Helm chart in Kubernetes cluster. The topics I'm going through these videos are install a chart, install a chart with naming space, uninstall a chart. First topic, install a chart. Install a chart means Helm create Kubernetes resource. The Helm create Kubernetes resource based on the chart definition. Helm install more powerful than the Kube control apply. Let me log in to my Linux box. Previous class, I create my app config chart. My demo will use this chart to install. Install command is helm install release name and chart file location. The release name should be unique in the naming space. Chart install successfully. My app config only include one resource, config map. Kube control get config map to retrieve all config map in Kubernetes cluster. My app config was created. Kube control get map config plus config name my app config minor o means output format is yaml there's a content of my config map username lian annotation was added by helm also they create a timestamp Next step, let's check release information. Helm list. The command is used to retrieve all Helm release objects. There's only one, my app config. Namespace is default. Version, update time. Status is deployed. Chart is my app config. Minor 0.1.0. Helm 3 is able to store release information on configure map, secrets, and SQL. Secrets is default storage. Kube control get secrets all naming space owner is helm the command is able to retrieve helm 3 release storage there's the one we created my app config let's go through the release information kube control get secrets plus secrets name minor o and yaml minor o is output YAML is output format. What is the release data? The release data is base 64 encoding and the zipped chart file. Next topic for the day, install a chart with naming space. Previous chapter, my app config was installed in default naming space. In the real world, one physical Kubernetes cluster will share with different team, such as develop and QA. How to isolate the resource? Kubernetes solution is naming space. Also, Helm install support 
naming space parameter. The command is helm install my app config plus chart folder parameter minor minor space equal to QA minor env space minor minor create naming space plus minor minor weight. The command is able to install my app config on QA environment naming space. If the space not exist, create the naming space. Minor minor wait means waiting for the command completed and show the result. Naming space was created, QA minor env, so that is deployed. Let's check the result, Coop control get configure map plus naming space parameter. The value is QA minor env. Configure created. Also use Coop control get configure map plus configure map name minor o and yaml space name space name to retrieve the config detail. Data is correct, username, value is lien. Retrieve the release information in the client side used to help list plus naming space, value is QAENV. Retrieve the value. Also verify release information in Kubernetes side. Kube control get secrets, all naming space. Owner is Helm. There are two my app config. One is in the default naming space. Other is in QA minor env. Let me quick try. If I want to install my config in default naming space again, should I say the error message? Cannot reuse a name that still in used. Latest topic for the day, uninstall chart. Command is hill uninstall plus release name my app config. Uninstall successfully. Check config map in default naming space. My app config was uninstalled. Also, if I want to uninstall release name in specific naming space, the parameter minor minor naming space is needed. For example, help uninstall my app config in QAENV naming space. Uninstall successfully. Let's check release information in server side. Release information are removed in Kubernetes server side. And then use the Helm list to double check. We completed all three topics for today. Today we learned install chart, install chart with naming space and how to check the chart release information in Helm side and the Kubernetes side. And then I demo how to uninstall the chart with different naming space. Thanks for watching this video. I hope it was help. Do not forget to like it. If you want to be notified whenever new videos come out, then subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions or something was not clear in the video, please post them in comment section below and I will try to answer. Thank you and see you in the next video.